Welcome, and thank you for clicking on this video. If you like these types of videos, please consider supporting us by hitting the like button and clicking subscribe below. We post videos daily to help encourage you on your walk with Jesus. Now, on to today's thought. Today's thought. The doorstep to the temple of wisdom is knowledge of our own ignorance. Spurgeon. Proverbs 3 My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel, and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof, than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things that canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She's a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is every one that retaineth her. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth, by understanding hath he established the heavens. But his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion, so shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. Then shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy shall sleep sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. Say not unto thy neighbor, Go and come again, and tomorrow I will give, when thou hast it by thee. Devise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he dwells securely by thee. Strive not with a man without cause, if he hath done thee no harm. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. For the froward is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesseth the habitation of the just. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lonely. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promination of fools.
A Christian has an advantage when he reads and applies what God has preserved in the Bible. Proverbs 3, 1 says that he preserves his life. Some of those blessings include, as seen in Proverbs 3, 2, and 8, a longer life. Most likely because of not reaping the terrible wages of involvement in sin, receiving the blessings of God, and living a healthier lifestyle. Proverbs 3, 2 says peace. The unrighteous, often in rebellion to God and his commandments, are their own worst enemies. Chaos, confusion, and confrontation frequently dictate their life as they follow their own way. That so often fails. On the other hand, when a child of God follows the leadership of God, he will be led in the path that God knows best for him. He may still have difficulties, as this is a sinful world, and sin hurts everyone. However, even through trials and tribulations, the obedient, trusting believer can have peace that is foreign to the unrighteous. The favor of God on him and his life. There is nothing better than having the help and approval of God in one's life. When trusting in God's direction and not your own, he will guide and direct you through the good and the dangers of this world. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. When honoring God by obedience and by a giving spirit, God often blesses one in ways he sees fit. Applying God's wisdom to one's life will provide insights that many never experience. Understanding from God will make one able to discern and see life situations differently than one does not have with God's wisdom. Loving Father, it is the desire of my heart to acknowledge you in every way, because I love you. Thank you that you are with me to lead and direct in all life's decisions, and to plant my feet on the straight pathway. I pray that not only in the difficult times, but in every situation of life, I would acknowledge you in all circumstances and at all times. I pray that I will keep the eyes of my heart fixed firmly on Jesus, to whom be all praise and glory. Amen.